What's going on my fellow YouTube aquarium junkies? My name is Jay and uh, this is my new channel and it's kind of an introduction video to let y'all know who I am and uh, what I'm doing and what I plan on doing and what I already previously know. So you're all probably wondering why I'm showing you this gorgeous aquascape that I have going on here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is my kids tank. Uh, fake plants, uh, hardscape right in the center of the tank, just like you should. Just joking again. You have to have a skull. It's a tank without a skull, right? The only thing it's missing is the pink gravel, right guys? So you're all probably wondering why I'm showing you this tank. Um, this is my kid's tank. We set it up two months ago. for. Uh, we set it up at the beginning of December. It was an early Christmas gift for the kids, Christmas of 2014. And uh, I haven't been in a tank since I was about 12 years old. So from about 12 years old to 16 years old, I was hardcore into aquariums. Not planted tanks, just aquariums with fish. Um, I'm 32 now. So from 12 to 16, I had tanks. I turned 16, got a car. Didn't want anything to do with aquariums. I was out chasing girls and all that good stuff you do whenever you're 16. So... Aquariums aren't exactly uh, the coolest thing whenever you're that young. So anyway, so I gave them up at 16, sold them all. I'm 32 now. It's 20 years later. And my wife says, hey, let's get them an aquarium. I says, all right. I says, what do you want? She said, oh, a little 10-gallon or something like that. She goes, will you, will you set it up? Do you, do you know anything about fish and everything? And I told her, yeah, I used to be into fish. I know all about tropical freshwater fish. She goes, yeah, go get it. She gave me a budget of like 350 bucks or something. She goes, do you think we could get a setup for that? I go, oh, yeah, we'll get a setup. So it just happened, and it was Black Friday that she asked me this. And it was around dinner time. And I says, yeah, I'll run out. There shouldn't be too many people at the pet store. So I went, and all the 10 gallons, like, they didn't even have any 10 gallon combo setups. So to purchase everything separately would have been like an arm and a leg, like the tank, a stand, blah, blah, blah. But I had this whole stand right here, brand new. Uh, you got the stand, the 36 gallon bow front, and the hood for like 120 bucks new or something like that. So I snaked it up and I called her and I says, I got us a, a pretty big one. I says, because it was, it was just as expensive as if I was to get a 10 gallon with everything, you know. So I got this, brought it home, uh, went out to another local pet store that I used to go to. And I uh, got all the filters and the heater and the gravel and everything. And just to check out, you know, what that fish store had been doing. I haven't been there in, you know, 18, 20 years. So it used to be my favorite. So I went out there, came home, started setting it up and everything. And it just, I started getting the itch again. I'm like, man, I really want to get into aquariums again. You know, I had a little rush going on, setting everything up and... It just all started coming back to me, you know. So I get this all set up, you know. And uh, by that time, I'm like, yeah, I really want to get back into aquariums and stuff. So that night, uh, you know, I started the cycle for the aquarium. Uh, actually, it was the next day. We went out and got one fish. I didn't know anything about fishless cycling. Uh, that's the way I always did it back then. Um, so, you know, went out and got one fish wait for the ammonia to go up. You guys know the deal about Cyclone Aquarium. So Next day I started, okay, well I'm going to get myself a tank, you know. So I go onto YouTube and start looking at videos and bam, it was like a whole new world to me. Uh, at that age of 12 years old back then, I didn't have YouTube. I didn't have really the internet. Um, didn't have anything, didn't have any exposure to aquariums, never went to any shows or anything. The only thing that I knew about aquariums is what I saw in the fish store or in the local pet store. And back then I only had two of them. Okay, so yeah, they had a show tank set up there, but it wasn't like a heavily planted tank or anything. It was more of like a rockscape. And, uh, yeah, they sold, you know, real plants and everything, but back then, at that young age, I was just into the fish. I wasn't into real plants. I didn't care if they were real or fake. Um, they had enough fake plants back then that looked real, so I never bothered with it. 
So fast forwarding to now, I, I got on YouTube and it's just, I was in shock of everything that you could possibly do with a planet aquarium now. So I says, that's it, I'm getting heavy into this. So uh, here we are now and you know, this is my kid's tank. And so the purpose of this channel is going to be, I'm gonna do product reviews on what I get and everything, um, what I think of it. But coming down the pipeline, I got two 20 longs downstairs. I picked up, they were dirt cheap. I got them used for like 40 bucks. Two 20s, the hoods, uh, which the hoods I'm not going to use, but we'll get back into that. Uh, the stand, everything for like 40 bucks. So I snaked that up. So there, as everybody knows, there's a bunch of different ways to do planted aquariums, uh, whether you get dirt. Uh, your substrate options, eco complete, um, you know, ADA aqua soil. So, this channel is going to be basically my journey into Planet Aquarium since I've never had a Planet Aquarium. Um, like I said, I'm pumped, so I'm going to be getting all kinds of aquariums. I got the 220s downstairs, the 220 longs right now, and it's going to be my experiment tanks just to dive back into. I'm going to do them two different ways. One, I'm going to do high tech, one, I'm going to do low tech. Um, you'll see the journey of those tanks and everything. And then in a few months, I'm going to be getting a 55 to a 90 gallon for my family room. So we'll see exactly how big that one's going to be, but no less than 55, probably no more than 90. So we'll do that. That's going to be heavily planted. That will be a CO2 tank with high light. I can tell you guys that right now. Um, I also, for my basement, where the 220s are, I will be getting something even larger. So I'm going to be going at least 125 for that. So you're going to see a lot of uh, a lot of product reviews off me of you know what I think of them. And my reviews aren't going to be like everybody else's. Uh, I'm getting, I get a little tired sometimes whenever you're going online to buy a product and someone gives it one star because the package wasn't the right color blue that they like, so they give it one star. Or um, just a bunch of junk. You know, I, I now I totally understand the reviews where people say, "Oh, I bought this, and one month later, it uh, it crapped the bed." That that's a good review. That's a reason to give something a bad star. You know, but other than uh, you know, there's people that don't even do things right, and they blame the product because they're not doing it right. You know, I I, I watched someone. Uh, give her a bad review on saying that the the screws were too fragile, and he torqued down on it and it broke. Well. Guess what? Here's a news flash. Don't torque down on it if it's plastic. Okay, plastic breaks very easily. Don't be putting tons of pressure down on a plastic piece and then go give the company a bad review because you torque down on it like it was a metal screw and you broke it. There's no reason to break it. So yeah, that's what we got coming. That's what I know. I I I only know what I've been researching with Planet Aquariums, but it's a pretty decent amount because I I research very well. My college days, they taught me how to research. So. I research, I watch tons of videos, lots of inspiration from other people out there. Um, I want to just say that I've been inspired by Paul's Planet Aquariums. He has awesome videos. Dustin's Fish Tanks. Obviously, that dude's always giving you the knowledge on the plants and everything. Um, there's a couple more out there. The Rick. Um, sorry if I don't get to all you guys, but I'm sure that, you know, hopefully I get to know all you guys a little little later on in this channel and everything and uh, we conversate and uh, we all get to know each other and stuff because I'm in this for a while and you're gonna be seeing a lot of videos so uh, until then quick overview of this tank yeah we got all the fake plants we got the hardscape right in the center like you're not supposed to we got the skull um, yeah, this is just everything the kids and the wife picked out so I let them go at it we got the background with the fish in the background the platies <laughs> which throws you off because you look, you glance at it for a second and you think you have a whole bunch of platies, but no, it's in the background. So yeah, 36 gallon bow front, never buy a bow front, distorts really, really bad. We got the glow light, Tetras, uh, I'll show a video that I'm spawning, crazy video. We got the dwarf frog, that's what my wife wanted, she always wanted a frog, so she got the dwarf frog. What else we got in here? We got some glow light Tetras in the back. Uh, there's some cardinals behind that hair or that uh, hardscape. There's two quarries in there. Uh, they're in there somewhere. I don't know. Uh, an Aquion 150 watt heater. Um, it heats the water and maintains the temperature. Good heater in my book. Just a little pricey. Uh, as far as filtration, 
We got the Emperor 280 from Marineland. Um, like the filter, does a good job, high flow rate and everything. I like that you could have two media cartridges in there just in case uh, one disintegrates into nothingness and you have to replace one. At least you're not losing all your bacteria. Uh, the bio wheel, whatever. Don't know if it actually works. It does put some oxygen. If you get up real close, you get a lot of bubbles that this thing gives off. So, hey, that's cool. If you have like a nitrite spike or something like that and your fish are struggling to breathe, uh, it adds some extra, you know, without putting an air stone in it, it adds some extra oxygen, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the impeller's real noisy. I don't like that. If you're not going to go with, like, a canister filter or something like that, or another hang on the back, um, this one does tend to be noisy. So if you, you have young kids or something and they're sleeping upstairs and you're trying to watch TV, you're going to have to turn the TV up a little because this thing's noisy. So, uh, I've heard rumors, I haven't even cleaned the impeller yet, because it's only been two months. I heard you could get, like, a little pebble in there or something. I know there's not a pebble in there. Maybe it's off balance. I uh, doubt it, but I've watched, I've uh, read other reviews on people that have said it is on the noisy side of the filter. But, uh, good filter. Don't get me wrong with that. I do like it. It does its job. High flow rate. Haven't had any issues with it. It's only been two months. So, time will tell on the longevity of it but hey man it works it uh it keeps it filtered so this is the uh this is the tank that got me back all into it and this is why this will always be one of my favorites even though it's plastic and uh it's the kids tank you know but it'll be one of my favorites because it's get, it got me back into this and it got me to see the world of aquascaping and planted aquariums and now i'm hooked so stay tuned for all the next videos and Throw me some comments. Thanks, everybody.